<laughs> all right, sweaty palms, racing thoughts, a pounding heart. Those are all symptoms that really can feel debilitating. Uh, 100%. Right? Uh, yeah. Nearly 20% of Americans wrestle with anxiety, according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. We're starting a series called Healthy Minds, Healthy Lives to offer insight into mental health challenges so many of us are facing. And Kara Sunland takes a closer look at some ways that you can find some relief from an anxious situation. Uh, I'm just trying to get outside and get some sunshine. Uh, ben Adams has a handle on his anxiety. He takes a four-pot approach. Money to stay calm. I've had him for four years. He gets me out of the house and gets me out of my own head. Um, so yeah, he's just, and he was, he was a rescue. For people suffering with anxiety, a condition characterized by intense feelings of tension, fear, and dread, finding the right way to self-soothe can feel overwhelming. Not all tactics work for all people because no two people experience the condition in the same way. Like pit in your stomach, you're going to start to feel queasy, you're going to start to feel hyper, maybe more unfocused. David Barringer um, is a clinician with Wheeler headache, Health. He says recognizing uh, those nausea, unpleasant symptoms and breaking them down into each of the five senses can actually help you resolve anxious feelings one sense at a time. By using the five senses, we're really paying attention to our body, we're really focusing on what's going on around us right now. For sight, it's going to be a picture, a movie, something that you can look at. For sound, you're going to focus on different sounds that you like, taste, finding those foods that you like, that you find comforting. Smell, finding the smell that you find soothing. Touch, so this is where like fidget items come into. If grounding with the five senses is too overwhelming, Berender also says you narrow your focus to four square breathing. So that's where you breathe in for three seconds, hold for three seconds, breathe out for three, and then hold for another three. But if these symptoms are so common that they interfere with daily life, Behringer says it might be time to look at the GAD-7. The seven question tool can help you determine what level of anxiety you're experiencing. If you rate moderate or high, it's not a diagnosis, but it may be a sign to seek professional help. Don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed. Um, we all can't do everything by ourselves, and there does come a point in time where we do need that additional support. Additional support that can come from learning yourself, your symptoms, and knowing what makes you feel better. The more you fight it and try and pretend like you're not anxious, it makes it much worse. Um, with the dog, having him around, he is just something that, like, he's unconditionally loving you all the time, so he's always there for you. Kara Sundland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, and we have a link to that anxiety assessment on our website. And tomorrow, how do children experience anxiety and what may offer them some relief? We're going to bring you that part of the story. Again, that is tomorrow morning.